Friends, these are Surly Sunrise Handlebars. One person on Instagram asked me what they were and another on the YouTube community page asked me what I thought of them. And that is enough demand for their own dedicated video. Okay, now I'm gonna to read to you the information that you could easily look up yourself on the Surly website. The material of the Surly Sunrise Bar is post-weld heat-treated chromoly steel, and it has a 22.2 millimeter clamp diameter. The width of these is 820 millimeters wide, but they can be cut down to 720 millimeters. They have 83 millimeters of rise, which being the nice guy that I am, have converted for you, it's 3.26 inches of rise. They have 14.7 degrees of back sweep and 6.7 degrees of up sweep. They weigh 778 grams if you include the shims that they include in the order so that you can put these into a 31.8 millimeter clamp stem. And they come in black only. So I think a noteworthy piece of information from that brochure read is the 22.2 clamp area diameter. Most bikes these days will have a handlebar with a 31.8 clamp area. And then the older standard or bikes that are trying to save a buck will have 25.4 clamp areas. Yeah, this clamp area, still a little bit bigger than the Surly Sunrises. So if you got a bike at home that looks like this and you're like, oh, I've got the smaller style handlebar and you think the Sunrises are gonna go into these, they won't. It'll actually look more like this. So one of these stems is no good to you. So you have two easy options. The Sunrises ship with a shim so that you can put them into your 31.8 stem. It's not my preferred way to run a handlebar. Not because I think a shim will allow things to slip or do anything like that, they're fine that way. It's just another thing that I can lose when I take a bike apart and I need to like try and keep all the parts together. Those are just those. I got these bars secondhand from a friend of mine. I doubt he knows where the shims are. The shims are gone. That's why I don't like shims. What I much prefer is run the appropriate style stem for this clamp diameter, which for the last 40 years or so just happens to be a BMX stem. I think it looks a little cooler. A lot of people do really crazy things with BMXs. If you're just cruising around on a bike, you know your bars aren't gonna slip. Considering these are 3.25 inch rise and the bars on my BMX are closer to 10, a lot more leverage, these never move. If you're looking for a good stem, check out the link below to this Merit stem. I sort of trust it with my life. Okay, now we're gonna talk about these bars geometry a little bit, but I feel a little ridiculous doing it in the garage when we could do it while we're out riding. Outside, it instantly starts raining. So 3.25 inches of rise plus a little bit of rise out of this top load stem. And you know, it's got a little bit of room here for the nuts. It's a threaded fork, a one inch threaded fork. And all of that kind of gets my bars up to a height that just about all of my mountain bikes are at. And I can kind of feel a little bit more familiar in that aspect, which is cool. Now the up sweep and the back sweep, the back sweep is like kind of cruiser-ish. I could probably do with just a little bit less. The up sweep, I really, really like. A lot of BMX bars come with some degree of up sweep. I tend to go for the ones that have a little bit more. This having six, I actually still even roll the bar like almost straight up a little bit more forward to even get a little bit more up sweep. And I'll do that with all my mountain bike bars. Apparently other people don't. I've ridden other people's bikes who like have them turned back. I can't stand that. I feel like my hands are going to slide off. Very much appreciate the 6.7 degrees of up sweep on this. Of course, the rain starts stopping as I'm finishing this ride. Back to the garage. So 
So coming off the topic of the sunrise's geometry, this seems like a decent spot to segue into the topic of comfort. And, uh, and without a doubt, the position that these put you in, the position they put your hands in and everything, whether I like to say that I'd like to have a little less back sweep or not, it is super comfortable. Like riding along like this, like just cruising around the city or something and not trying to, you know, take a 90s mountain bike on the non-90s mountain bike trails, you'd be very happy. Well, I don't actually know if you would be, I would be. If I wasn't trying to constantly dry and ride mountain bike trails with this, I'd be very happy with that back sweep. And that's the position they put you in that's super comfy. One thing I've noticed about steel handlebars, and I don't know if this is like truth, this is just something I have anecdotally kind of noticed. Riding a set of Neato bull moose bars, these a little bit um, less so on my BMXs because you, you only do like short little stints, but uh, they seem harsh. Like they don't have a lot of, uh, they don't have a lot of compliance. So anything that the bar kind of like gets pushed up against, you really do feel it in your hands and wrist. I've never really had this discussion with anyone before, so I'd be interested if you've ridden a steel bar um, versus like an aluminum one and a carbon one, uh, if you've noticed how much harsher a, a steel bar is. So that I think that's worth some consideration for sure. When I was riding a Rudy section like this, I could feel it. I will say, even though Nick made fun of me for it in the last video with this bike, I absolutely love where the handlebar position is on this bike now. Feels like all my other bikes that are behind the camera right now. And it does just make it that much easier to get on and throw around. This is definitely the most fun this bike has ever been. And it's because of these. I would definitely say they're worth looking at if you've got like an old 90s mountain bike like I've got. It kind of mimics the handlebar height and like position a little bit of the old quill stems that are a lot higher up. Um, but it also gives you that really modern width. Also, they look cool. I know that Fairdale makes a bar that could almost compete with this, but these are 33 inches wide. They might be a little bigger than that. The Fairdales are 28 and I think I would not prefer that. Like if the Fairdales were the big 33 um, and they're like 28 US dollars or like 30 US dollars versus these, these would never sell again. But because they're only 28, uh, people aren't looking at them quite as much. Bit of a miss there. Um, so there you go. That's what these are. That's what's on this bike right now. It'll change again. I considered raffling this bike off. Everyone was like not really happy to hear that I wanted to do that. So. Uh, I'm riding it a little bit more with these bars and I'm glad I am. So, yeah. I'm really bad at reviews, sorry. I just, I kinda like everything.